Amen. Father and our God, we come now in a very sincere effort to expound on your word in a way that brings clarity to the mind and to the heart of your people. God, as we celebrate your resurrection, you got up early on Sunday morning. Amen. There was something going on from Friday afternoon to Sunday morning. But you got up. And God, we come today to celebrate the risen Savior. We thank you, God. A little bit more volume. We thank you, God. That through many dangers, toils, and snares, we've already come. And grace has brought us safe thus far. Amen, somebody. And grace shall lead us on. Now, God, we pray right now by the power of your Holy Ghost. God, wrap us in your love. Hold us so close, God, that we can even right now hear you whisper in our ear. Allow us right now to be the voice. But God, you be the word. Amen, God. We, we, we feel like one crying and it would allow us to be the voice. But God, we want you to be the word. The voice of one crying out in the wilderness allow us to be the voice. But God, you be the word. Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth thee and will obey. Help us to run and not be weary, that we walk and not faint. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We are thankful today for this day, and, and we thank God for all of you. God has, has moved in a powerful way. We thank these pastors who have preceded us and have broke up the fallible ground that we can come now and the praise leaders and on the direction of Dr. Hubbard and those who have helped break up this fallible ground and allow us to expound in a way now you know the Bible is very clear it, it says that uh, Paul planted in Apollos water but I God gives the increase amen so we praying right now for what increase amen you know when we think about the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ when we think about him having power over death, we realize that death is a, is a tool of the enemy. And there's ever been a time, Pastor Williams, that we have seen the devil use that tool Pastor Ball, it has been in this last year. That's why we know his time is short. Because he's doing all he can in the little time he got left. Amen, somebody. And I realize now that, 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 that he's going to do all he can in the time he got left. But guess what? Jesus is going to do all he need to, amen, until he come back. So I'm satisfied. I, I'm not worried now. I'm not worried about all that's going on, but I'm going to stand and proclaim the good news in spite of. Amen, somebody. Help me, Holy Ghost. And I want you today, wherever you at, I want you to focus on what Jesus done. And he did it for us. He did it. He, he went to the cross. And on the cross, he shed his precious blood. Because the blood of animals couldn't do it. He shed his prayer. He became our lamb on that cross. And, 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 and to prove there was a reason why he was, 
he was, he was, he was buried because some says he, maybe he really didn't die. Amen, somebody. So they buried him. And, 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 and that wasn't the end of the story. We celebrate because he got up. from death and because he got up from death each one of us the Bible says that he was the first fruit of the dead but I don't know I, you know I, I, I thank God that, that I'm just somewhere in the number amen somebody I, I don't know what my number is but I just want to be somewhere in that number on that great getting up day. Amen. Ain't God all right? Amen. Let's look at Luke. Being recorded, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. We want to look at Luke. 24th chapter. I, I want to... I want to expound first on just the B clause of five, Brandy, and the A clause of six. I want to expound just for a few minutes. I'm going to look at several scriptures, but I, are we going to roll? I, I, want, I want to look at several scriptures, but I want to look at just right now the B clause of five and a clause of six. And the angel says, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but he is risen. The angel asked those who came, Why are you looking for the living among the dead? He is not here. We're going to talk from the subject. Jesus is not at the dead end. Can we roll with that? We're going to talk from the subject. Jesus is not at the dead end. You see, uh, we, we find here that when we look at in, in uh, uh, the, the first verse uh, of this 24th chapter, we, we find here, and the other uh, uh, text tells us that it was Mary, Madeline, the other Mary, and, and Aunt Mary, and all them who, who came that Sunday morning to, 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 to give, uh, to, to anoint his body with some dead uh, uh, anointment. Uh, some some old spices uh, that that uh, they would typically do during that time. It was a custom of the Jews, uh, and I just come out of there to tell you that that Jesus is is not on that dead end. Uh, we got folks still today uh, coming to church uh, every Sunday morning uh, called Mama told him uh, they supposed to come to church. Uh, they've been going to the same old place, uh, sitting in the same old pew uh, 40 years, uh, going to the same, going through the same old ritual, uh, trying to do a dead sacrifice. Uh, Jesus is saying to us, uh, I'm not on that dead end. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, they don't understand. Uh, why ain't nothing changing? Uh, you ain't changed. Uh, that's why ain't nothing changed. Uh, you keep on going. Uh, same old dead in sacrifice uh, come on somebody Jesus said I mean the angel says he's not here he says why are you looking for the living among the dead upon the first day of the week very early in the morning they came unto the sepulcher, place of burial. That's all that means. Uh, bring in the spices which they had prepared. 
that's a problem. Uh, can I talk about that? You, you see, I, I, every Sunday morning, some of us, we got ourselves prepared. Some stuff we done put together. But God ain't prepared you. Amen, somebody. We got that same old dead, wore out, tired, conniving, same old attitude, with, with, but we expected uh, for Jesus to show up. Amen, somebody. Watch this. It says, and they had prepared it. I like what T.D. Jake said. He said, Lord, prepare me. Not for no dead to be a living sanctuary. Top cat, pure and holy, tried and true. And, and not with no complaint, and with thanksgiving. I'll be a uh, living. Y'all don't hear me. Sanctuary. Lord, just for you. Verse 2. I'm, 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 I'm going to take my time. Verse 2 says, and, and when they got there, they found that the stone was already rolled away. Uh, one thing I have learned Pastor Williams. One thing I have learned, top man, is if I just do what I can do, and I walk in faith, when I get to the place that God's sending me, He gonna do what I can't do. Amen. Somebody. The other text said that they were worried about how they were gonna get in because the stone in front of the door was great. Amen. Somebody. Somebody worrying about how they're going to fix something that, that, you, that may be seeming like it's bigger than you. It, it may be blocking you. Now, I want you to know that the stone wasn't rolled away so Jesus could get out. The stone was rolled away so that we could get in. Amen, somebody. Somebody trying to get into a place. Somebody say, a door is closed in my face. Somebody worried about this and worried about that. You trying to do it on your own, but if you just let the Lord open that door for you, when you get there, you'll find that stone has been moved. Uh, you get there, you'll find that situation been changed. Uh, I just believe uh, if I trust in him, uh, I just walk the way he told me to walk. Uh, he'll be a lamp unto my feet, uh, a light unto my pathway. Uh, I'm going to walk by faith, uh, not by sight. Uh, I'm not going to worry about what it looked like up there. Uh, I'm going to keep on going. Uh, and I believe uh, when I get there, God going to roll. Uh, amen, somebody. God going to roll. Uh, that stone out of my way. Amen, somebody. Look, hit your neighbor and say, neighbor, Jesus ain't on that dead end. Jesus ain't on the dead end. The Bible says, and they entered in, we're on, we're on verse 3, and they found not the body of the Lord. We go on down to verse 5 and the Bible says that let's just go to 4 and it came to pass as they were much perplexed about thereabout. Uh, behold two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed themselves, their faces to the earth and said unto them, the angel says, why seek ye the living among the dead? I'm going to deal with that in just a minute. He is not here, but he is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee. Saying that the son of man, speaking of himself, must be delivered into the hands of sinful men. Amen, somebody. He also must be crucified. 
He told him to remember this, but that wasn't the end of the story. He says, also remember that he said on the third day. Amen, somebody. That not only was he going to rise, I like that it says he's going to rise again. Amen, somebody. Pastor William, what I like about that, if, if you ever been knocked down, I ain't, I ain't talking about nobody in here. I'm just talking about myself now. Because, see, I done been knocked down off of my high horse. Amen, somebody. Maybe y'all ain't never got caught up in pride. Maybe you ain't never been on that side, but me, myself, and I, I've been knocked down off of that high horse. But I thank God if Jesus could rise again, ain't God all right? I thank God. Amen, somebody. If Jesus could rise again, if God could raise him up, I like that. Not only did he rise, the Bible said he rose again. Ain't God all right? I don't know where you at right now. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what the problem is. But if you can believe in your heart, in your mind, that you can rise again one more time. Do it, Lord. Do it for me. I heard you did it for Pastor Williams. I heard you did it for Sister Tony. I believe. That you'll do it for me. Amen, somebody. I like that word again. He says, I'll rise. Again. I was reading in the Psalms where it says, a just man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. It says a just man falleth seven times and seven times. Sister Kathy, the Lord help him up. Yeah, sometimes we stop right there, but Chris, I can't stop there. It says, but the wicked, they fall too. The problem is when they fall, they stay down. Don't worry about falling. Y'all, y'all, I'm gonna preach in a minute. Don't worry about falling on this journey. Most people get paralyzed with fear. Can't do this. Can't do that. You're scared you're going to fall. If I do fall, he'll pick me up again. Ain't God all right? Jock ain't worried about falling. I just thank God he's going to pick me up. Ain't God all right? The Bible says uh, when Peter began to sink, uh, all he said was, Lord, save me. Uh, the Bible says immediately Jesus reached down, uh, picked him up. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, amen. Uh, if you hadn't failed, keep living. I'm going somewhere in a few minutes. I got to go somewhere in a few minutes. I got to go somewhere in a few minutes. It's going to be, it, it's going to get gooder. Give your neighbor a high five, say gooder. This morning, as I was studying, I told my wife, I've been studying all week in my devotional. And Brother Kirk, this morning, it's like the Holy Ghost took all that study I've been done, throw it out the one. So that ain't what you preaching today, Sister Brown. Every morning, you up in the book. Yes, Lord, I believe that's where you're leading. But this morning, oh my God. About three o'clock, sleeping good, singing my song. Y'all don't want to go. Y'all was singing y'all song too. I said I was sleeping good, singing my song. All of a sudden, I wake up. 
All of a sudden, all that I've been studying, he threw it out the window. Holy Ghost said, this is where, I'm, on, I'm going somewhere in a few minutes. He said, this is where, and, but when he showed it to me, I was glad he threw it out the window. I want y'all to look at this. Pastor T, you said that we're celebrating the resurrection. Yes. You're saying that Jesus, who was crucified, who was buried, and he, raised, he was raised up by God and, and was not there in that place of burial, that sepulcher, that burial place. When they got there, that's exactly what I'm saying. Well, I... I just got one question for you, Pastor T. I'm glad you asked that question, Karen. I, 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 I believe I sensed it in the spirit. I'm glad, Mary, or if we say old school, May Lee. Yeah, that you asked that question. Ain't that right? Oh, I'm glad, Brother Anthony. Too sweet that you asked that question. Amen. If he wasn't, now watch this now, in the dead place, where was he? I'm glad you asked. Can I read this? Verse 13, Brandy. I'm going to sit down in a few minutes. I'm going somewhere, y'all. Y'all just, just stick with me. And behold, two of them uh, went that same day to a village. Junior Goss, it was Junior and Deacon Goss, it was called Emmaus, which was from Jerusalem about three score furloughs. Stay with me. And as they talked together of all the things which had happened, it came to pass that while they commune together and reason, Jesus himself, I'm going to go somewhere. Have you ever been praising God and Jesus himself I'm going somewhere y'all y'all just stay with me it said the two of them have you ever been praying uh, maybe in the midnight hour about some stuff uh, that you didn't know how it was going to turn out uh, maybe you were praying for some children uh, maybe you were praying about some a spouse maybe you were praying about a situation and Jesus himself Have you ever had a business decision? I'm going somewhere, y'all. Have you ever had a business decision? Have you ever had a new job decision? Have you ever had a career decision? Have you ever had a new home? Or something going on and you were, and Jesus himself showed up. Amen, somebody. The Bible, Pastor, you come to, the, the, the Bible I want, I want Pastor Williams and Pastor Williams to come as I do this demonstration. These two preachers, come in the pulpit. Come on down on this end, Pastor. All the things, I want y'all to go that way. Real slow, real slow. All the things that were going on, them two were talking about it as they were leaving Jerusalem. And, and, and they had some concerns of what had happened. Y'all watch this. And they were communing uh, with, with each other. They were just talking about what had happened. And the Bible said that Jesus himself showed up on their behalf. 
but at that time they didn't know it was Jesus. Amen, somebody. They know not who it was, but they needed to know. I don't know about you. Have you ever been in a situation where you was a little confused? Have you ever been in a situation that you didn't know what to do? Have you ever been in a situation where you didn't know where to turn? And just about that time, Jesus! Yes! 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 He showed up and showed out. Oh my God. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I get to the first line? Can I get to the first line? Now, this is this, this gonna require some stuff right here. Jamie Marie, it's gonna require you to go to Google it. Ain't God all right? Amen, somebody. Pastor, and pastor and pastor, all these doctors of the law, it's gonna require you to go home and get in your strong concordance. Ain't God all right? It's gonna require you uh, to get in the book, uh, but that'll be all right uh, for the other scholars. Uh, I see Deacon Goss Jr. Uh, up top. Uh, it's gonna require you uh, to go on your computer and pull it up, but you're gonna find it to be true. Ain't God all right? Go senior, the old wisdom in the house. Pop, the old wisdom in the house. It's gonna require you to go to them sons and daughters. Say, boy, girl, look at what Pastor T said. I want to know, ain't that all right? Wait a minute, wait just one minute. I believe I see the doctor of theology in the house. Doctor of theology is gonna require you to go to some of them professors. All right, and find out what Pastor T said is true. Wait a minute. I'm going to go back over here. Somebody say, where was Jesus at? If he wasn't on the dead end, where was he at? Wait a minute. The Bible says, Sister Tony, that these two men was on their way from Jerusalem, from that place of the sepulcher, from that place uh, where that dead stuff was, uh, from that place, well, watch me, amen, somebody, uh, where he wasn't on that dead end. Uh, I'm gonna show you what end he was on. Uh, amen, somebody. Uh, scholars, uh, some of y'all Bible, uh, if you look down in the footnotes, uh, uh, say uh, that, in Mary, uh, that, that, that Emmaus uh, was about eight miles uh, from uh, that place uh, that he was buried. Uh, amen. Now watch this, y'all. Uh, I'm going somewhere. Uh, I'm going to go somewhere. Y'all stay with me. Uh, if I was at the city cemetery right now in Madison, Georgia, somebody say, I, I see where you're going. Uh, watch this now. Uh, if I was at the city cemetery, uh, I want some of y'all uh, to get in the back of your body. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's going to require something else. It's going to require something else. It's going to require some of y'all to look at that map in the back of your Bible. Uh-huh. If you were to look at that map in the back of your Bible, and if you find uh, Jerusalem, and you go eight miles due west you'll hear Emmaus if I was sister Dr. Hubbard at the Madison Cemetery right now the place of burial the place of the sepulcher 
the place where they came looking for Jesus, but he wasn't there. If I were to leave the city cemetery, turn west, uh huh, and, and I just want to tell y'all, when you go towards Atlanta, you're going what? So if I were to leave the city cemetery, Sister Tony, and I come on by Mother Liz's house, y'all don't hear me, and I keep on coming up Dixie Highway, y'all don't, don't hear me, when I get just about eight miles, y'all don't hear me, when I get just about eight miles, the place of praise. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Y'all ain't there yet, but you finna get there. Uh, it, about eight miles, uh, I found myself right straight out in front of that church. Uh, when I looked up the word Emmaus, uh, it meant the hot springs. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, you better get to the hot springs if you want to find out where Jesus is at. Uh, he ain't in a dead place. Uh, he ain't in that cemetery. He had the hot spring. Uh, check it out. Uh, any way you want to check it out. Uh, in males uh, is the place of the hot springs. Uh, all I'm talking about is Jesus. Uh, Jesus uh, is at the hot spring. Get on your computer. Look at your strong concordance. When you look up the word Emmaus, it means hot springs. You want to find him, you better come to the hot. What does all that mean? It simply means that God is going to be somewhere where they praise in him. Where they talking about him. Where them two preachers trying to figure it out. He going to show up in the midst and he going to show out. Jamie and Marie still Googling back there. That's just beautiful. Look, Jamie, Jamie, she got it. She all down in the Jamie computer. Got it under, look, and then she's going to have it under the pew, Jesus. Trust me. It may have simply means hot springs. Now, you can imagine this morning when God showed me that. You can imagine how I felt. I said, Lord, I always knew it, but he proved it. Ain't God all right? Ain't God all right? Then we got to send that to Boston, Deacon Goss. Ain't God all right? Amen. But he is well. They are communing about him. They're praising him. What are you saying, Pastor T? I don't know what the situation, very, very softly. I don't know what your situation is in life. I don't know what you're dealing with. But if you want Jesus to be a part of it, you can't no more with them dead sacrifices. No more with that old tired, ritual, woe out stuff. I've been doing this all my life. Well, is it working for you? Has Jesus showed up? We got to praise him. We got to worship him. You know, they, they call this old crazy, and that's that noisy, crazy group. But Jesus is in, that, in, in the midst of them. Amen. We got to pray. We got to lift him up. And when you lift him up, he'll get right in the midst. Keep reading. Get on down there, and you'll see. Two preachers that I used, those two, when they, later on, Jesus revealed himself. And as soon as he revealed himself, he disappeared out of their sight. And this is what they said. They said, oh, did our hearts burn. If you want him to set your heart on fire, listen to me very closely right now as I get an invitation.
doors of the church are open. Listen to me now. If you want him to set your heart on fire, if you want your heart to burn within, I don't care what the situation is, a little bit more volume. I'm trying to get used to these new mics. Y'all see that. Um, you have got to praise. Thank you. You got to praise him. You got to lift him up. It, that, that cute. Old tired routine. You know what the angel's going to be saying to you every time you come in with that same old cute, tired routine? Why you got them dead sacrifices? That's what the angel was telling them. What, what, what you doing with them old dead sacrifices? Going to anoint a dead body. This, this, this is a living God. He, he, don't, he don't desire your dead sacrifices. Don't be scared to lift up your hands. Don't be scared to do that. Don't be scared to lift up your hands. Because listen, he did not show up for them that came for the dead sacrifice. He rose for us to... That don't even belong to the law. The law stole that. Yeah, I'm the chaplain, but the law stole that. That don't belong to the law. That belong to the Lord. All that says, I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. If you want God to show up, surrender your will and lift him up. And you'll create your hot springs. Oh my God. Top man, check it out when you get home. Hot springs. If you don't know the Lord, but you want to get to know him, this will be the perfect time. As I told you earlier, he, every one of our sins, though they be many, they hung on that cross. Let me, let, me, let me go back. When he was at Gethsemane, and they were praying, Jesus went over and, and he looked in that bitter cup. He said, I got to go pray. And he prayed one time. Because in that bitter cup, he, he, he says, he says, matter of fact, I need somebody to pray with me. In that bitter cup, he saw a rapist. In that bitter cup, he saw somebody who was. He saw somebody who was hooked on so many drugs, they didn't know which way to turn. In that bitter cup. He saw alcohol. He saw in that bitter cup. He saw womanizers. In that bitter cup. He saw molesters. In that bitter cup. He said he saw every sin that was. Then he went back and looked again. Second time he looked at he said, I gotta go pray. He says, Lord, I pray again. This time in that bitter cup, he saw a liar. This time in that bitter cup, he saw some backbiters. This time in that bitter cup, he saw one was mean as hell. I said they were mean as hell. I want to make sure you heard what I said. The pastor T said that. I said something. He saw somebody in that was mean as hell. He went back and looking in that bitter cup again. He 
He said, I got to go pray. That time in that bitter cup, he saw that woman that was on the corner. He saw that man that was pimping her. He saw that person that was a masked gunman that took out a bunch of folk. But what he also saw, he saw a preacher. He saw a Frankie Williams giving his testimony of what God done done for him. And it changed in somebody's life and them changing their ways. He saw a Pastor T telling you that he was caught up in pride on a high horse and God knocked him down. I don't know where you at. I don't know where you caught up at right now. But what I do know that if you give it to the Lord, if you give it to the Lord, He'll change you. Because Jesus, who didn't want to drink from that bitter cup, because of all the sin he saw in that cup, at the end he says, Nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. And then he marched up Galgotha's hill to the place of the skull, the place of the cross, Calvary. And it was there he paid my sin debt. And he paid your sin debt. He paid it in full. When he got through paying it, Donna, he said, now I'm finished. There ain't nothing you can do to add to it. And it ain't nothing you can do to take away. All you can do is accept what he has done. Because he's paid your sin debt in full. And all he wants you to do is accept his finished work. And praise him on your way to a mass. If you're here today and you don't know the Lord that way, I want you to come down. Give your hand to the man, but give your heart to God. He'll make crooked places straight. He'll make rough places plain. Because he did it for me, he'll do it for you. Everything you've ever done and everything you ever will do was in that bitter cup and he drank and paid the price for all and he did it once and for all it's over and it's done doors of the church are open come now pray church pray church Pray, church. May us. Somebody walk with you on your way down. Jesus will walk with you. And somebody will walk with you if you'll just walk down. Walk on your way to a mess. On your way to a mess. On your way Just to males. Ain't God all right? Oh my God. Somebody gonna measure. I know it. Chris. But Chris, somebody gonna go down to the cemetery. The Madison Cemetery. They're gonna punch their mile meter in. And they're gonna drive. When they get to eight miles, they're gonna be at the spring. The hot spring! And it's due west, by the way. 
Somebody gonna look at that map in the in the back of their Bible and they're gonna say Jerusalem. They're gonna look north at Samaria. They're gonna look west and they're gonna see Emmaus. Ah. Help me, Holy Ghost. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't come here to get your praise on. Jesus joined them on their way to a mess. Have your praise on when you get here. What? You have your praise on when you get here. Jesus joined the group on their way to a mess. Oh, shucks. Some of y'all wait till you get here to get pumped up. Some of y'all wait till you get here to get somebody to prop you up. Some of y'all wait till you get here. Somebody to, to speak a word. Listen, Jesus, you ought to bring him with you. Yeah. Ain't God all right? I'm going to leave this alone. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. trying to find a father and a son to pray with this father and son is what I was trying to do there. Deacon John, I'm about to use you and Pop. Y'all come on down. Pop, come on around, Pop. I'm going to get this father and son to pray for this father and son. That's a blessing. But you didn't stay in that grave. You got up with all power in your hands, Jesus. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen again. Amen. Church say amen one more time. Amen. Jesus is not on that dead end. Amen, somebody. We got to come with praises on our lips. And it starts on our way to church, on our way to that place, on the way to our breakthrough. Amen, somebody. Amen. I'm so grateful for you all as we celebrate the risen Savior. If anybody asks you the hope of your call, just say, he's risen. He got up. The fair, some of them were, were fair in their countenance. And the other ones, Karen, were sad in their countenance. 
That's why they call them the Pharisees and the sad you sees. But you got to be praising God. Don't be like the Pharisee. They were fair in their continents. And please don't be like the sad you sees. Y'all see what I'm talking about? If you don't do nothing else, when you come in this sanctuary, when you're on the way to this sanctuary, get your praise on. Be joyful. Come in here fired up. Amen. You want me to tell you how, how can a pastor fire y'all up when he pray? Because he come in here fired up. If you come in here fired up, you're going to fire somebody up. Y'all come in here fired up. All right? You know who killed Jesus? Pharisees and the, and the Sad Sadducees. You know what kill praise? When you come in here with your countenance and it's a fair you see or if a sad you see. But if you want to lift up Jesus and you don't want to kill the spirit. Amen, somebody. You look at the very ones who crucified him. That's who crucified him. That's who killed him. Amen. And you want to kill the spirit? Sad, you see. Y'all, it's going to hit y'all. It's going to hit some of y'all going home. Uh, Who's going to close us out? Whichever one of y'all going to close us out, y'all come on. Sister Tony, Sister Tony, come on down. I'm done. I think I'll, I'll give y'all enough to think about. Y'all got to study. Y'all got to do. You find it? You, you Google it, Jane Marie. What does it say? Oh, shucks. Y'all don't hear me? that has been sown in us today. Amen. Amen. You ready to be dismissed? Let us all stand. As we're standing, I just want you to know that the young people have put together, amen, something for our kids, our young people, our youth in the fellowship hall, even those young at heart. Uh, Y'all can peep in too. Amen. But we have prepared, um, the young people have, have prepared something so before you leave, please go back, amen, and take a look at what they have. They've been working very hard during the service. So take a look and see what they have. See one peeping through the glass right now, amen, amen, amen. Our hearts and minds with one accord, amen. Remember communion next Sunday, amen, amen. I guess Mother Rebecca will let the ladies know who will serve on next Sunday. That's what Sister Kathy was asking. Amen. Amen. Father, we just thank you for the opportunity that you've given us. We thank you for allowing us, Father God, just to, to feast, God, on what you had prepared for us. Father, we thank you that you helped us get our spirit and mind ready to receive today, Father. And Father, we thank you that as we are blessed, everything attached to us is blessed. Father, our homes, our children, God, even those concerned about our occupation, God, or concerned about, hallelujah, the increase that is on the way. Father, we just thank you right now that we cast all these things into your hand. Father God, we thank you right now knowing you are the Alpha and Omega. You already know the end of the thing. You already know how it's going to work out. You already know where we're destined to go you already know what you have for us so father we just thank you right now God for allowing us to come together one more time father father we pray as we've been obedient God and as we've lifted you and as we have praised you father God that we'll be energized not just in our body but in our spirit God that we can go and bless and possess the land in your name Lord, and so we thank you right now for the word, Pastor T. We pray you restore him in the name of Jesus, oh God. And everything that's taking place today, God, help us to go out and spread your love, God, and reflect your love. And Father, always remember the sacrifice you gave when you gave your son Jesus Christ to die for our sins. And on the third day, he got up with all power in his hands, God. So we thank you. 
that we're able to get up out of our situation, that we don't have to lay there and take it. So, Father, thank you for blessing us. God, even those that have listened by social media, we pray, God, that you bless, God, that you touch them by way of your Holy Spirit. We pray that they can feel your presence, God, even through social media, God, that breaks through, God, the thing that may try to stop them from receiving. Thank you for the power of your Spirit and the power in your blood. Father, so as we leave this place, but never your grace, we pray, God, that you bless us to come together one more time, oh God, to rejoice and to glorify your holy and righteous name. In Jesus' name, we ask and we pray and let the church sing. Amen. 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 God bless you. God keep you and we Love you. Shalom. Amen.